Paella, Wikipedia article audio. Paella, Spanish, is a Valencian rice dish that has ancient roots but its modern form originated in the mid-19th century in the area around Albufera Lagoon on the east coast of Spain, adjacent to the city of Valencia. Many non-Spaniards view paella as Spain's national dish, but most Spaniards consider it to be a regional Valencian dish. Valencians, in turn, regard paella as one of their identifying symbols. Etymology History Possible origins Valencian paella Seafood and mixed paella Basic cooking methods Valencian paella 2 Seafood paella Mixed paella For all recipes Competitions and records Controversy Similar dishes In popular culture Notes Types of paella include Valencian paella, vegetable paella, seafood paella, and mixed paella, among many others. Valencian paella is believed to be the original recipe and consists of white rice, green beans, meat, white beans, snails, and seasoning such as saffron and rosemary. Another very common but seasonal ingredient is artichokes. Seafood paella replaces meat with seafood and omits beans and green vegetables. Mixed paella is a freestyle combination of meat from land animals, seafood, vegetables, and sometimes beans. Most paella chefs use bomba rice due to it being less likely to overcook, but Valencians tend to use a slightly stickier variety known as senia. All types of paellas use olive oil. Paella is a Valencian word which derives from the old French word paille for pan, which in turn comes from the Latin word patella for pan. The word paella is also related to paella used in many Latin American countries. Paella in the Spanish language of Latin America refers to a variety of cookware resembling metal and clay pans, which are also used for both cooking and serving. The Latin root patella from which paella derives is also akin to the modern French poelli, the Italian padella and the old Spanish padilla. Valencians use the word paella for all pans in the Valencian language, including the specialized shallow pan used for cooking paellas. However, in most other parts of Spain and throughout Hispanic America where the Spanish language is spoken, the term paellera is more commonly used for the specialized pan while paella is reserved for the rice dish prepared in it, although both terms are deemed correct for the pan, as stated by the Royal Spanish Academy, the body responsible for regulating the Spanish language in Spain. Paelleras are traditionally round, shallow, and made of polished steel with two handles. Some claim that the origin of the word paella comes from the Arabic copyright, pronounced bakiya, meaning leftovers. This claim is based on the 8th century custom where Moorish king's servants would take home the rice, chicken, and vegetables their employers left at the end of the meal. However, this etymology is impossible because paella didn't appear until six centuries after Moorish Valencia was conquered by Haumei. Moors in Muslim Spain began rice cultivation around the 10th century. Consequently, Valencians often made casseroles of rice, fish, and spices for family gatherings and religious feasts, thus establishing the custom of eating rice in Spain. This led to rice becoming a staple by the 15th century. Afterwards, it became customary for cooks to combine rice with vegetables, beans, and dry cod, providing an acceptable meal for Lent. Along Spain's eastern coast, rice was predominantly eaten with fish. 
Spanish food historian Lourdes March notes that the dish symbolizes the union and heritage of two important cultures, the Roman, which gives us the utensil and the Arab which brought us the basic food of humanity for centuries. On special occasions, 18th century Valenquians used calderos to cook rice in the open air of their orchards near Lake Albufera. Water vole meat was one of the main ingredients of early paellas, along with eel and butter beans. Novelist Vicente Blasco Iba A plus or minus EZ described the Valenquian custom of eating water voles in CAA plus or minus as Y Barro, a realistic novel about life among the fishermen and peasants near Lake Albufera. Living standards rose with the sociological changes of the late 19th century in Spain, giving rise to gatherings and outings in the countryside. This led to a change in paella's ingredients, as well, using instead rabbit, chicken, duck, and sometimes snails. This dish became so popular that in 1840, a local Spanish newspaper first used the word paella to refer to the recipe rather than the pan. The most widely used, complete ingredient list of this era was, short grain white rice, chicken, rabbit, snails, duck, butter beans, great northern beans, runner beans, artichoke, tomatoes, fresh rosemary, sweet paprika, saffron, garlic, salt, olive oil, and water. Poorer Valenquians, however, sometimes used nothing more than snails for meat. Valenquians insist that only these ingredients should go into making modern Valenquian paella. On the Mediterranean coast, Valenquians used seafood instead of meat and beans to make paella. Valenquians regard this recipe as authentic, as well. In this recipe, the seafood is served in the shell. A variant on this is Paella del Cinirat which uses seafood without shells. Later, however, Spaniards living outside of Valencia combined seafood with meat from land animals and mixed paella was born. This paella is sometimes called Preparatia Superscript 3 and Barroca due to the variety of ingredients and its final presentation. During the 20th century, Paella's popularity spread past Spain's borders. As other cultures set out to make paella, the dish invariably acquired regional influences. Consequently, paella recipes went from being relatively simple to including a wide variety of seafood, meat, sausage, vegetables, and many different seasonings. However, the most globally popular recipe is seafood paella. Throughout non-Valencian Spain, mixed paella is less rare. Some restaurants both in Spain and abroad that serve this mixed version refer to it as Valenquian paella. However, Valenquians insist that only the original two Valenquian recipes are authentic, and generally view all others as inferior, not genuine, or even grotesque. According to tradition in Valencia, Paella is cooked over an open fire, fueled by orange and pine branches along with pine cones. This produces an aromatic smoke which infuses the paella. Also, dinner guests traditionally eat directly out of the paellera. Some recipes call for paella to be covered and left to settle for 5 to 10 minutes after cooking. This recipe is standardized because Valenquians consider it traditional and very much part of their culture. Rice in Valenquian paella is never braised in oil, as pilaf, though the paella made further southwest of Valencia often is. Recipes for this dish vary somewhat, even in Valencia. The recipe below is based on the two cited here. There are countless mixed paella recipes. The following method is common to most of these. 
seasoning depends greatly on individual preferences and regional influences. However, salt, saffron and garlic are almost always included. After cooking paella, there is usually a layer of toasted rice at the bottom of the pan, called socarra in Spain. This is considered a delicacy among Spaniards and is essential to a good paella. The toasted rice develops on its own if the paella is cooked over a burner or open fire. If cooked in an oven, however, it will not. To correct this, place the paella over a high flame while listening to the rice toast at the bottom of the pan. Once the aroma of toasted rice wafts upwards, it is removed from the heat. The paella must then sit for about 5 minutes to absorb the remaining broth. It has become a custom at mass gatherings in the Valencian community to prepare enormous paellas, sometimes to win a place in the Guinness World Records book. Chefs use gargantuan paelleras for these events. Valenquian restaurateur Juan Galbis claims to have made the world's largest paella with help from a team of workers on October 2, 2001. This paella fed about 110,000 people according to Galbis' former website. Galbis says this paella was even larger than his earlier world record paella made on March 8, 1992 which fed about 100,000 people. Galbis's record-breaking 1992 paella is listed in Guinness World Records. Many chefs around the world have taken the traditional dish and added ingredients, such as chorizo, that are considered not to belong in the dish by Valencians. Spaniards, especially people from Valencia, have complained about this many times and it is a recurrent topic online. The alternative name proposed for these dishes, although pejorative, is arroz con cosas. Famous cases are Jamie Oliver's paella recipe and Gordon Ramsay's. The author Joseph Pla once noted, The abuses committed in the name of paella valenciana, are excessive, an absolute scandal. Traditional Valencian cuisine offers recipes similar to paella valenciana and paella de marisco such as ara superscript 2s nigra, ara superscript 2s al forn, ara superscript 2s abanda and ara superscript 2s amb fisals i naps. Fidwa is a noodle dish variation of the paella cooked in a similar fashion, though it may be served with aliola sauce. The following is a list of other similar rice dishes. In 2015, an emoji for paella was proposed to Unicode. The emoji was approved for Unicode 9.0 as U plus 1 F958 shallow pan of food in June 2016. Although it is generally rendered as paella, Samsung has realized the symbol as a Korean hot pot. Heat oil in a paella, sauté copyright meat after seasoning with salt, add green vegetables and sauté copyright until soft, add garlic, grated tomatoes, beans, and sauté copyright. Dot, add paprika and sauté copyright. Dot, add water, saffron, snails, and rosemary, boil to make broth and allow it to reduce by half. Remove the rosemary once flavor has infused or it starts to fall apart. Add rice and simmer until rice is cooked. Garnish with more fresh rosemary. Make a seafood broth from shrimp heads, onions, garlic and bay leaves. Heat oil in a paellera. Add mussels. Cook until they open and then remove. Sauté copyright Norway lobster and whole, deep water rose shrimp. Then remove both the lobster and shrimp, add chopped cuttlefish and sauté copyright dot, add shrimp tails and sauté copyright dot, add garlic and sauté copyright dot, add grated tomato and sauté copyright dot, add rice and braise and sofrito, 
add paprika and soda copyright dot, add seafood broth and then saffron, add salt to taste, add the deep water rose shrimp, mussels and Norway lobster that were set aside, simmer until rice is cooked. Make a broth from seafood, chicken, onions, garlic, bell peppers and bay leaf, heat oil in a paellera, sear red bell pepper strips and set aside, sear crustaceans and set aside, season meat lightly with salt and soda copyright meat until golden brown, add onions, garlic and bell peppers. Soda copyright until vegetables are tender, add grated tomatoes and soda copyright dot. Add dry seasonings except for salt, add rice, braise rice until covered with sofrito, add broth, add salt to taste, add saffron and mix well, simmer until rice is almost cooked, replace crustaceans, continue simmering until rice and crustaceans are finished cooking, garnish with seared red bell pepper strips. Thibudien, biryani. Arroz a la Valenciana, arroz con pollo, arroz con gandals, ara superscript 2s negra, jambalaya, pilaf, risotto, jollof rice, arroz meloso, bezi belle bath, locrio a euro. This Dominican dish is thought to be a descendant of paella.